Hi, I'm Tammy Walker, Baron of Boxy Queens. Let me show you how I made this coffee sand for my die cast diorama set. Using a two inch thick piece of blue foam as my base, I will build my diorama on top of this and it will connect with the other ones. I'm using balsa wood to build my coffee stand and I'm just trying to get the right measurements for what I want, marking out uh, where I'm gonna cut the walls. I like to use a clear quilting ruler and a finger knife with cutting my balsa wood and using that for a lot of my projects. I also tape together some of the pieces so I can keep them a uniform size and shape. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the base of my project, that Bambi Brown acrylic. And I'm going to fit it inside of my diorama set just to get a fit where I want to put the abandoned coffee stand, which is in the old parking lot of the diner. I pour my Mod Podge mat into a separate container to avoid contaminating the whole lot of it. And I'm going to place my little building down and trace out where that's going to go and go ahead and paint the glue all around that spot because I won't need any dirt where the building is sitting in. I tried putting a covering over my microphone. Maybe it won't make my P's and B's so blunt. We'll see how this goes. So I put all my dirt from outside into a shaker and I've just been shaking it on all over to the glued surface. Um, putting my hand here actually kind of keeps it stuck onto the edge and like bounces back on my hand, pushes right back onto the uh, glue. I'm press it all down, just make sure it's all nice and secured. And this is my favorite part here is just shaking off the dirt all that excess wipe it up and put it back into the container now with the left of the, the leftover of that glue I have I'm going to add some water into it and stir it up I'm going to use that to seal down all the dirt onto the top of my diorama so I'm just looking for a nice watery consistency and as I go back and forth I'll still add a little more water and a little more glue and just don't need too much to get this done. I'm using a medicine dropper. It seems to work best for me at this point. You can use a, a little spray or two, but uh, this is just an easier, quicker method. I don't have to do as much cleanup. And here I'm just sprinkling some dirt down over any excess glue, as I always have a little too much glue. And this actually adds some nice variation to the ground as I'm working. I'll shake the excess off and put that to the side and let it dry and I'll get back out my balsa wood house and start working on all the little pieces. I have a video on how to make a balsa wood house so you can check that out on my Boxy Queens channel and see what I do to get to this point. Here I'm just painting inside one around the window frames because I've got some plastic I'm going to put in the back to make it look like the windows or the glass of the windows. I like to paint just those areas first and then glue the whole building together and then paint it all as a whole. It uh, seems to hold stronger that way and warp less. I used a sharp pencil to draw the clapboard siding on to the outside of the buildings uh, before I glued it all together and I've got the windows inside and what I'll end up doing is painting the inside a gray color nice for abandoned looking stuff I don't have to go into too much detail inside of this building it's so tiny you could barely see in and the outside I'm gonna go with yellow I felt like I need a little cherry color in my town and I kind of just use a watered down black acrylic mixture to really age the uh, the siding and have it fill into the cracks around the edges. I just decided to just do a faux compost roof on top just by painting it with some blacks and grays. And there's my little house that looks cute. It's got a little door to get in, windows on both sides. And we're gonna set it up onto the dirt there and just take a look. It's always fun to check it out in the different stages as you're going. I say house, but I do mean coffee stand. I guess they're all little houses to me in a sense. 
I'm going to just uh, check it out. I made little signs on it that says coffee and I wrote down a whole bunch of coffees and their prices in the tiniest as I possibly could. And I've got this cool truck with the motorcycle on the back. I love it. And what I'm going to do here is press away the dirt where I feel that the traffic pattern is. There are three driveways off of this. The two come off onto the road that I've made and the third comes off onto a cross street that I will add in the future. It's my favorite new thing to do is add static grass. So I have some set aside from the other diecast diorama projects. I do write down on the edges of the dioramas the type of grass that I use so I can keep my look going from piece to piece. And here I'm just setting up the diorama next to the other pieces so I can get the landscaping and the driveways in just right. And once again, painting that Mod Podge mat on, getting in around the areas of the building, and using the static grass applicator and shaking my two mix part on here. Let's see, autumn grass and wild meadows, I believe, are the two grasses that I'm using. And I'll shake that off, wipe that up, and do it a second time. It really fills in the spots. I just went with a random pattern and I also sprinkled some of that fine turf called weeds onto everything, gave it a little dimension. And I'm gluing down my coffee stand. I use a few sewing pins to secure that to the foam while it dries. You can see the three different driveways there. And I'm now I'm gonna start filling in different areas with little patches of that weeds turf, some clumps of grass, and some coarse turf mix that I have from other projects. I use some wisteria branches for some dead trees in the uh, parking lot and some other trees that I have ordered online. I actually sprayed them with adhesive and put some of that weeds fine turf in onto them and sealed them with hairspray just to give them the more realistic look. It looks pretty good. It was the simplest diorama I had to make for this, but my town will forever be going on, so I need many different types of buildings for it. And I also would like to make a hotel, and I also have plans to do a mini shopping mall because I am making a little mini photo booth from a movie I'd seen. So we'll see how this all pieces together. I'm really excited about this. This is a great filler project that I can do in between other project ideas that I have. I appreciate your support in watching my videos. I tried standing up when speaking into the microphone and that seems to help a little bit. So I learned two new things about my microphone today. So that's one, maybe I'll learn some more about this video program and can bring you some better videos in the future. But you know, at least I'm trying and I feel pretty proud about that. So if you have a project out there that you wanna try, just do it. Just get out there, try it, make a video, make a little diorama, just try to make something. And be sure to have fun while you're doing it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day.